lovely, lovely song. Leslie Coors Mather here on Border Crossings on The Voice of America. I'm a survivor of the album and the song you just sang. Yes. Obviously, it stirs up emotions. There's a it lot does. of things that went into creating that song and inspiring that song. And yeah. You, you've overcome quite a few different uh, challenges, shall we say, in the Definitely. last few years. Yeah, yeah. And and even more, um, honestly, what inspired the song was was somebody else's challenge. And then as I wrote the song... Uh, Buddy was one person and my producer was another that said, well, that's your story. And I said, yeah, it actually is. I was just kind of trying to push that away and think about somebody else because it's very emotional. Um, but what that allowed me to, to really realize is how many survivors of so many different stories there are. And so this song is very relatable. You know, it really, we wrote it, I wrote it and we produced it right after the um, Las Vegas massacre. And I was thinking now, there's a story of surviving, right? And and so that just kind of my brain went from there to so many other things. And there's so many people that have a story of whatever it might be. It mm -hmm. could be health. It could be divorce. It could be anything. You know? Everybody's facing a struggle Everybody and a challenge. Everybody's facing and a challenge. My goodness. And you read the news. You watch TV yeah. these days. There's always there's some so tragedy or disaster. So. Right. So my desire is always to bring hope and to bring, you know, a silver lining to things mm -hmm. and... And you know, as a, as a parent, mm -hmm. you also faced a huge challenge. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, your child was diagnosed with a, a very scary disease. Yeah, that was really the inspiration for the song. It was um, my daughter Stephanie was four. Um, I have three kids. She's my middle. And um, again, out of the blue, I get this um, diagnosis. She's got leukemia. And when I was a kid, leukemia was not a that was something. It was a death sentence, right? Mm -hmm. It was not a prognosis that was going to be good. Um, and now. Uh, especially with childhood leukemia, the doctor sat us down and he said, if she meets all the criteria we need her to meet, she's got a 90% chance of complete cure. And that's exactly what happened. She's a sassy, you know, feisty, Wonderful. smart, energetic, healthy 15-year-old girl today. And um, But I watched her go through it and, and the strength that she went through. And that's where the, that fighter part of the song came from is, you know, my daughter would face needles and all kinds of crazy stuff just head on. Just just give it to me. I don't care. You mm. know, and it was wow. really inspiring to me. It's yeah. awesome. Inspiring to, to anybody, I'm sure, who hears yeah. that story. And I guess that's the story you're telling with the album, I'm a Survivor. So right. are all the songs about struggles and overcoming struggles? Or what's the they're idea really, behind the whole really album? They're really not. And yet, I guess they probably are. I, I wasn't thinking of it that way when I wrote the songs but they mm -hmm. all my songs um, my heart is always to inspire people and so all the songs and the other songs we're doing today really do have that sort of um, come on you can do this kind of a fight song mm -hmm. thing about them for sure mm -hmm. yeah. what's been the highlight for you so far uh, all of you, you mean this week? Or do no, you mean well, like today, life? this week <laughs> and in Starting, life all okay. of the above oh, highlight this week was Your the Pentagon mm-hmm um, highlight uh, in the career, I think it's it's working with these guys in Nashville, and um, I live in L.A., mm -hmm. um, and I've worked with a lot of musicians in L.A., but there's a different um, culture in Nashville. I actually moved out to L.A. from Nashville, um, went to Vanderbilt, and I was there working on Music Row, and then mm -hmm. moved out to L.A. Um, because my husband works at Warner Brothers, and so that's where we're oh, stationed. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's in the film business. Um, but working at Blackbird, which is a studio owned by Martina McBride and John McBride, and um, it's just a cool space to be in, and it just feels very much like being at home, home away from home, mm. you know. And these guys are the best there is. Mm. I mean, the so best. who are they? Let's meet them. Yeah, why don't you? Are you guys okay with introducing yourselves, Sean? <laughs> yeah, my name's Sean Richardson from Nashville, Tennessee. Nice Play to guitar. meet you. Great, yeah, great, great guitar player. Thank you. Yeah, and then um, Duncan. Uh, Mullins. Duncan Mullins. Yeah. yeah, born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, and I've uh, been doing the uh, studio thing. Um, Primarily since about 1990 or so. So, yeah, he's fun. Yeah. Wow, he's fun. you must have a lot of stories to tell. Nashville studio yes. sessions. Woo. <laughs> and then Buddy, my band leader, Buddy here, Buddy Hyatt. That's right. My name's Buddy Hyatt, and uh, I'm Leslie's friend first, and her band leader second. Very nice. Yeah. So I, I read where your producer has worked with Barbara Streisand yeah, and Neil Diamond. Denny Deontay. Yeah, yeah. He's he's pretty much done it all. He's He's inspiring to be around as mm -hmm. well, and he's got lots and lots of stories. He's been told many times he should write a book, and he said, if I wrote a book, I'd have to leave the country. <laughs> so uh, wow. he said, maybe I'll write it, and then after I'm gone or something, you can, you mm -hmm. know, find someone to <laughs> Well, that's great that you've got a, such a strong production team behind it you. Is. Great musicians. It's very and inspiring. Producers. Yeah, that yeah, it's kinda... creatively inspiring. It's the juices going. Mm. And easily. five albums in three years. Yeah, what did I well, read? What's I, that I, about? I think it was the identity crisis. So we have, you know, the country section, and then we have this is the um, 
pop AC, pulp, adult mm-hmm. contemporary, and then mm-hmm. we've got contemporary Christian, which is a part of who I am as well. Um, and then we had this whole acoustic thing that happened and decided to make an album out of that as well. And um, am I forgetting one? Was that five? That was four. Oh, and then a Christmas album that's wow. coming out this year. Wow. Yeah. Is it, do you think it can kind of blur the lines if you do so many different genres of music? I hope so. In a you good hope way. so. That's I hope it blurs the lines in a good way. Okay. Because I, I just have never wanted to be put in a specific in a box. box. You All know, right. I just love good music. Hmm. I really do. And I have a hard time um, sticking with one thing. I like it's like trying new foods, you know. You right. like this for a while, then you like this for a while, and and uh, the song you just sang, "I'm a Survivor," I, I guess it did very well on the uh, adult contemporary charts. Apparently, read, it did so. really well. Yeah, I think it was in top twenty or something yeah, like that. Outstanding! So, Congratulations! Yeah. Thank you! Thank you! Congratulations! So you're excited? The new album's coming out. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm excited to get it out finally, and um, and then promote you know the the whole kidney uh, you know thing as well, mm-hmm. and just. Bring awareness, really. Right. We're yeah. going to talk more with Leslie Coors Mathers as we go. And uh, if you wouldn't mind doing another song, sure. I would like to hear some more music. What are you going to sing? Yeah, for us? let's do uh, Roll With It.